Okay. So let's keep going. Let's go back down to that area. Just go the way we always go here. Alright, common fruit. Rest up. Ah. Just that dude out here. Apparently they can get you around corners. Oh. Secret area here. There's an item over here. The bracing knuckle ring. Slows equipment degradation. Meh. Three torches and a flame butterfly, cool. Oh, the jumping controls are so bad in this game. They really are. Okay. Well, we got the item anyway. We got the torches anyway, so. Just go back where we always, uh, 
We always do. This is the way we're supposed to go. And I'm going to show you something because apparently I completely missed this the last time. First of all, there's a door here. Okay, we've been here. Somehow I didn't go up this staircase. Or I did and saw this and just got out. There's a petrified dude here in a bonfire, and I have two branches of yore. And this opens with the Bastille key. Petrified dragon bone and three fire bombs. What is a petrified dragon bone do? I don't know. Huh. Maybe it's some type of uh, uh, upgrading deal. Okay, I know where this goes, but I want to, not that I necessarily need this bonfire, but maybe this person can help me. I have two branches anyway. What is this? Raid. A wandering sorcerer of sorts. I've been a guest for a very long time, but I don't think that anybody will miss me. <laughs> okay. Mm. Very good. Cursed one, weak you may be, but I, strange. Would teach my spell. You can trade with him. Straight of Olaphis. Yeah, look, you can give him stuff too, and he'll give you souls. Oh, you can trade him the the boss souls for this stuff. I see. He's got... Oh... So this is how you do it. This is what you use. You don't necessarily... Maybe you can use them to upgrade, but you can trade them with this guy, the boss souls, and you can get weapons. Oh my god. 
barbed club. Gargoyles. Yeah, look. This is how. This is what you do with those boss souls. The Dragon Rider's halberd. Huh. The Roaring Halberd, Skeleton Lord's Soul. Dragon Rider's Twin Blade. The Bone Scythe. You can get the Pursuer Shield or the Dragon Rider Great Shield. Okay. You can get spells. That's awesome. The mock gesture. Uh, long enough. Why didn't any? So. Drang. Is that. The, the curse. Of God. The people. Some people. In the end. Hmm. So. What's he got for sale? He's got the Ring of Knowledge, which increases intelligence, and the Lingering Dragon Crest Ring, extends length of spell effects. He's got Rouge Water, and he's got all sorts of spells that uh, don't do anything for me. Alright, well that's cool though. So I wonder if he's gonna stay here or uh, go back to Majula. Anyway, it doesn't. Either way, it doesn't really matter because uh, because I can just fast travel right to him. Okay. I forgot that that would make all these guys respawn. He doesn't help me to kill them. He just stands there. Thanks for nothing, asshole. Alright, well, I kind of thought maybe he was the guy to give the soul vessel to, but he's not. But that's fine. Alright. So we, uh, we woke him up. Which is awesome, because now I know what to use my boss souls on, and I might, I might consider, uh, consider getting a weapon. And I, apparently I missed this too. There's a ladder up. And when you do that, there's another bonfire. So I miss all kinds of stuff when I was here. Salt for and this is how you get to these guys. That's how you get to that item that I, that I saw up here. Alright, cool. Just because, you know, the Drang Leg Sword obviously is good, but, you know, using one weapon pretty much the whole playthrough, meh. And it's so hard to upgrade because you need the Twinkling Titanite to do it. That, you know. It would also be cool to have a weapon that had an effect on it, you know? Good as the Drang Leg Sword is, again, you know, it might be cool to have a unique boss weapon. And, uh, I actually like the way they've done the smithing in this game because they've, they've simplified it a bit and haven't made it so convoluted that you don't have any idea what you're talking about unless you look it up. Um, 
And it's cool that, you know, you can just trade your boss souls with this guy. Um, and you can get unique weapons. So I'll probably... Maybe off camera, do, you know, thoroughly look through all the weapons he's got. Do the analysis and figure out what I want. Alright, so at this point, I'm just going to run through. Because the door's open. They won't follow me this far. I remember that there's ladders over there too that have locked locked doors. There you go, the steel key. Smooth and silky stone. That's kinda crappy. Nothing even in here. Oh. No door there. And no door there. So the only other two are up these ladders over here, and I don't think we get anything special for them. I think they're just shortcuts. And, uh, if that's the case, then we can head to the primal bonfire in there and get out of here. Yep, that's just a shortcut is all that is. I'm pretty sure it's identical on the other side. No items or anything. Yep. All right, that's all she wrote for the Bastille. So we can go ahead and get out of here. Turn in the far fire. All right, very good. Oh, that guy is going to be very useful. I would guess, like I said, he's probably not here. So, uh, why don't we do it now, right? Let's, let's take a good look at my stats, alright? As you can see, my strength is 26 and dexterity is 22. So it might be in my best interest to look for a weapon that's going to scale well with dex, uh, I mean with strength. Alright, I do 302 damage with the sword that I have right now, but it has no effects on it. It's got no effects. It's got a plus 98 whatever. Physical attack. The level of physical damage inflicted. That's magic attack. Fire, lightning, dark, poison, bleeding, counter strength, and poise damage. Okay, this is all pointless. Alright. And this weighs 9 pounds. So 
Strayed Cell. Let's go talk to him again. And let's see what weapons I want to actually get from him. Because I'm going to get something. There's no, there's no reason not to. I wound up having all my boss souls at the end of Dark Souls 1 and there was no point. You know, might as well use them, so... If it's not as good, then, you know, it's really not that big of a deal. This is kind of annoying, though, that you have to do this every time you want to go talk to him. Alright, so what does he's got? He's got the Pursuer's Greatsword. Right? You need 30 strength to wield it. It does 156 base damage. It weighs a ton, though. So I don't think I'm going to do this because it's just kind of a boring sword. The Warp Sword scales really well with Dexterity. But it's not that good. Arc Sword is actually pretty good. The giant stone axe, forget that. The barbed club does bleeding damage. The gargoyle bident. Dragon rider's halberd does magic damage. But it has a very low base damage. The roaring halberd has really low base damage, but it does... Dark damage. Does 100 dark damage. Okay. The bone scythe. Really, none of them are that great. <laughs> Honestly, they're all okay. I guess when you level them up, they're probably pretty good. God, it's heavy. 16 weight. Equipment status, player status. All these weapons are so damn heavy, too. It's crazy. Arc Sword looks pretty cool, actually. I might get it. But this does bleeding damage. And this does not. And it weighs way less. Might get the barbed club instead. Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna get the so the arc sword. All right. This does magic damage. And that scales up with intelligence. 
which I have very little, so it's not even going to do that much. That just looks cool. It's the only thing you can even use a skeleton soul for. I can't wield it, though, because you need 12 faith and 12 intelligence to do it. Alright, I think for now, we're probably okay. Fever, cast what are you talking about, dude? I traded with you. What an asshole. Here it is, the Arc Sword. This will make me heavy as hell, though. Ugh. Damn. I bet you when I upgrade it, it's gonna be pretty, pretty sweet. Let's go try to upgrade it at the blacksmith. Oh my god, it helps it a lot. Oh, you do it with the petrified dragon bone. Oh. Do it. I'll be around. Need two more of those to. I don't do it nearly as. I still don't do as much damage with it, though. That kind of sucks. And it makes me heavy as hell. Well, for now, I'm going to stick with the Drang Lake Sword, but I got a boss sword if I want it. Okay, I just wanted to get one just because, you know. So, alright, fair enough. 